kind of talk to us about, you know, like you're coming back to, to Tampa. So like you said, your, your whole life was like football, like coming back home. Like, did you feel like you lost your identity? Like, like, who am I? What do I do now? Or like, were you able to like come back, take some time and then find, you know, you know, start, start, start grinding. Did you go back to eight, did you go back to school? Did you start working or like, what was your, what was the, the fallback that you had to kind of like create? For me, I was deeply depressed. At the time, I didn't know I was depressed. But mm -hmm. me, looking back and knowing, you know what I'm saying, where I am now, the growth I'm at now, the point I am, mm -hmm. uh, I was I was super depressed. I didn't watch football for, like, years. For no real? Football. Yeah. I, I couldn't even watch it. Like, <laughs> yeah, so everybody be talking about this, and I didn't even care about it. Like, Yeah. And I, I came back. I worked. I didn't. Dude. So I went from different jobs, trying different jobs, went to different trade schools, just trying to figure it out, uh, figure out what I wanted to do, you know what I mean, at that point. Uh, it was hard. It took me a long time, man, to try to figure out, like, another thing I do. Mm -hmm. And I got into barbering off the whim. It was like I thought I would be doing, but... It actually turned into in that okay, this is something I could do. You know what I mean? Right, this, right. You know, uh, so now I make a living off of a pretty good living. Mm -hmm. Of course, my family like it changed my life. You know what I mean? I was yeah. I was kind of like depressed for real for a long time. Yeah. So slowly, I got the sports. You got I, back into. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you that you I mean but I can I mean just just hearing your story man like I just feel for you man like you know like you said football was everything for you like it was your girlfriend it was everything it was family like you loved it you mm -hmm. you, you breathe football and then for it to be taken away we're well, not taken away you had to make that decision like you know your pops not not the mother your child like it was you like you had to choose and you chose your son I mean like you chose family you know what I'm saying like there was no wrong decision it was just you had to make a decision. And then when we made that decision, you went home and you're like, man, like, and you couldn't even watch the sport no more. Like, it ain't that crazy? Like, you can't even watch the sport no more because that's how much you love it. You're like, if I can't play, then I don't want to know nothing about it. I'm not watching it. I'm just, you know, and I mean, I don't know if anyone ever like talked to you about going to see like a counselor or a therapist at that time, or do you have to just kind of go through it yourself? Like, you have to just kind of go up that, that coaster by yourself and kind of make it out. Myself, man, I think if I would have saw a therapist and things like that, I would have got through that easier. In mm -hmm. uh, so I had to go. It was kind of the hard way. Mm -hmm. I had to go through it a rough way, hard way. I lashed out. Like, I was an angry person at the time. I wasn't like yeah. how, how I used to be. Thanks for tuning in to Scale, Sports, Knowledge, and Life, a space where we empower student athletes. Please like, share, Follow and subscribe.